Hello everybody, it's Scott Golden Golden Apple 2 is Crystal here. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about a series of audios on a variety of topics. Psychological, social, emotional, mental health, and uh, wellness and progress related. We try to do that as often as we can, oftentimes several times per week. And we've got over 680 or so of those available for your listening pleasure, and we add to that several times per week. If you are looking for coaching as it relates to investment from an emotional and or financial level, we'd love to be of assistance to you, and we can do that in a couple of ways. You can reach out on Twitter at TO Perception, or you can go to the About Me section of this YouTube page and gain more information and my contact information there. We'd love to be of assistance to as many people as we can in 2021 and beyond, and hope that you are doing well. So, um, the importance of investment, both from a uh, emotional and um, financial perspective, is important. So, we're going to talk about five things that apply to both areas. The first is diversity. Putting one's um, eggs, metaphorically, in one basket is a foolish thing. Now especially as we move towards a gig-centered economy over the next two to three decades, wherein people are expected to have, nearly 75% of people are expected to have multiple sources of income and streams um, within the next 20 to 30 years. I think that number is currently around 50 to 55%. It's important to look at the value of the gig economy now and the expansion thereof. So, the more diverse your skills, the more diverse your knowledge, the more diverse your ability to connect with others and your communication ability, the easier it will be to reach a level of life that you desire, both from a financial perspective and a work-life balance perspective. If you target only one thing, unless it's a specialty that's so special that people do it rarely, and thereby you're in demand, you are going to make things um super uh, hard on yourself or harder as time continues to go by. The next thing is avoid needless expenses. Now this applies both to financial expenses, so splurging uh, in a way that is counterproductive to your financial goals, but also needless expenses of your time are equally as valuable. A needless expense of time is something where you could have done something more productive or rewarding to you as a person and thereby created a better quality of life for yourself in the short and long run of things by being more judicious. Now, this doesn't mean you can't have cheat days or small excursions, but realize that everything you do and everything you you put time into takes time and energy and money and resources away from something else. Remember that energy and money are closely connected. What you do matters, but also understanding that the value you place on what you do matters just as much as what you're doing. So if you are willing to spend, let's say, $8 on a cup of coffee, but you're not willing to spend $10 a month on something to educate yourself, your priorities may be out of whack. Uh, The next thing to consider is uh, investing in things that are towards technology that's going to advance the ease with which people do things. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean physical technology, but um, self-help, physical technology, um, technology that's going to make life simpler, services that make life simpler for people or allow them to do things more quickly or effectively, all technology that moves people forward to being able to live more seamlessly is a good investment. That being said, If you need physical technology, a laptop, a a, a tablet, uh, an iPad, or whatever, in order to be able to create for yourself the ability to do things more seamlessly, investing in those things is helpful. However, they are not the definition of your skills. So, if you don't have skills, invest in skills first and technology second, simply because the skills will pay for themselves far quicker than a physical item will. The next thing to consider on the list, and there are two more things here, is having liquid assets. Always have something that you can turn into a liquid asset, whether that be real estate, cars, or other physical items that can be sold for cash relatively quickly. 
as we move into a society that is even more removed from service bartering than ever before in human history, the value of physical items, which I think most of Western culture would agree is overvalued and overpriced in many cases, understanding that having at least some of those things that we can easily detach from and liquefy is easier to do than ever before. The last thing to realize is look at what people need and where things are trending and invest in those things, both financially, if you're talking about stock market or business opportunities, but also invest in skills that will give you leverage in markets that are expanding. Look at where things are going to be in two to three years, if it's going to take you two to three years to achieve a goal or longer, and then kind of chart where you go, not based on only what your interest is, but make sure that you have an interest in an expanding market. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to reach out if there's more I can do for your benefit. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.